Hello, welcome. Um, I'm here at the Inkscape Hackfest 2023 in Germany, and I am doing some interviews. I am sitting here with uh, René, and um, yeah, I want to just ask some questions, introduce you all to some of the contributors who work on Inkscape like all of the time. And uh, yeah, why don't you introduce yourself? Yeah, yeah. Hello, everybody. Yeah, my name is René. I've been with Inkscape for four years now. And I joined back in the time when they were looking for someone to take care of the macOS releasing. And yeah, since then I have taken this over and this is actually still my my main job to make sure that we get Inkscape releases and we have CI that yep. that, that works on, on both architectures. So my, my feeling is that you are basically a hero to the Inkscape pro project in that you came in at a time when Inkscape didn't have a macOS release and have basically constructed all of the necessary infrastructure to uh, allow, basically allow Inkscape to do macOS. Um, you will probably be very embarrassed by that assessment, but um, I think I think it's widely known that like without your help, there just wouldn't be really a macOS yeah, it's, release. It's kind of flattering when you put it like that, like I would not talk of myself uh, as a hero, but... Um... Yeah, basically, uh, I, I didn't know in the beginning what I was getting myself into. And yeah. honestly, I, I I kind of assumed I had done some packaging work, but not for such a big app. Yeah. And it was a bit, fam a very bit familiar with, with GTK. I, originally, I assumed like this is a job for, let's say, six months, nine months tops. Yeah. But I'm still doing it now in my, in my fourth <laughs> year. And yeah, the, the astounding uh, thing is that I'm, that I barely touched the C++ source code of Inkscape. Yeah. I always say I'm going to do this someday once I'm really done. But I'm, I have been moving towards getting it done. Uh, like for four years, I'm very close. So, I think. So let's move from the end to the start. Yeah. Um, what got you into basically contributing to an open source pro project? Hmm. I think, like generally speaking, I I always planned to let's say to do some voluntary work somewhere, and I was looking for let's say the right outlet. Yeah. And I came to Inkscape, yeah, just by chance. Like I, I was an Inkscape user back in the day, back when it was still like Xquads based. Yeah. Uh, for me, it was always GIMP and Inkscape were the two main things I did on my computer, like for, for graphic work in general. Yeah. And yeah, I think I think my first contact was I, I talked to some of you guys on IRC, basically to confirm is this still an open issue because it was on your website for quite a long time. It was, yeah. Uh, and then I thought, uh, may maybe try this and see if it, let's say, if it works, if it is fun, if it is fun to me. And uh, like, I wasn't, I didn't know at that time. I just thought, let's let's try, do something for good. And yeah, it has been fun so, ever since. So your main motivation is essentially like you want to contribute back as a volunteer. You're um, basically helping make the work the world a better place. Yes, basically, yeah. Like if you would have asked me like four years ago, I might have probably put it differently i cannot tell you how but like let's say the motivation to let to see like open source as a way of give back this has also like evolved over time like i wanted to do something without really knowing what it was yeah. but this kind of uh, yeah developed and i've always been like i do use open source or free software uh, myself and yes. then this was the perfect way to say I, I can give this i can give something back here Excellent. So, would you say uh, that the project has been wel welcoming to your con contribution? Um, definitely, I would say. Like, uh, what what was very welcoming is that basically they told me, yeah, you can let's say you can do what you want, <laughs> so to so so to speak. And I wanted to deliver, let's say, good quality things. So I yeah. I basically used the, the the freedom to show you how it can look like, what what we can do, and. Yeah, let's say when, whenever I needed support for something, uh, like you've helped me along the way. Yeah, so you, you're, you're, you're getting support as well as being free to be able to contribute. Yeah, I think this is this is a huge, let's say, cornerstone of the motivation as well. I wouldn't have known it beforehand, but yeah, I actually I like do I like having some freedom. Yes. Not to say that I, uh, it's not that I demand to work alone. Like, of course, the macOS build pipe and stuff is still my baby. Um, uh, but uh, let's say for the time I am alone, I I have a say in how we do things. Yes. Like it's it's like and you 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 put trust in me that that I know what I'm doing or that I'm having let's say the best interest in mind, yes. and I try to 
to give back by, let's say, obeying best practices and making sure that should I ever leave the project or something should happen, that I'm not leaving you with a bunch of spaghetti code, but that that someone else who starts looking into this at least, uh, let's say, can acknowledge this guy knew what he was doing or he's following some concepts. Yeah. And that is important. Um, have you received any sort of sense of pushback because you are doing Mac OS related things and and within the free software community there can be mixed feelings about supporting Mac OS generally or interacting with Apple specifically. Um, in, within Inkscape first, uh, have you felt like there might be you know discontent or any kind of yeah, I would say in the beginning in the chat, uh, it was not very frequent, but sometimes I noticed like the, let's say the typical bashing of operating systems. Yeah. And as expected, uh, like people used to Linux and let's say are engaged in the, let's call it the battle for free software. Yes. Uh, that, that's, uh, yeah, there are sometimes, let's say, not so nice words, but uh, <laughs> this has uh, completely like dropped. It's not that it bothers me so much. It would bother me, let's say, in the let's say, in if it if it gets more frequent. Yes. And I'm personally, I'm more, let's say, liberal in the sense that I use Windows, macOS, Linux. I've used FreeBSD, Solaris, like wide repertoire. I would not call myself, let's say, a freedom fighter, so much. Uh, but um, so, so you you would say you're more uh, motivated by making the public good, uh, yeah. productive, should we say, rather than some political aim. Yeah, like I try to keep the political stuff out because it usually it only leads to us arguing. Mm. Like it's good to argue, but it's often yeah, it's you know it's it's like when people discuss about politics, religion, whatever. It yes. very quickly gets out of hand, and we are it, like yeah, I, so so. Be, it's best let's say to avoid this and to see how can we work professionally. Yes. And um, let's say the Inkscape project has a desire. It is a multi-platform project, so there are some. Let's say some tough pills to swallow. Yes. Yeah? And but if we say we want an Apple release, uh, then we're gonna swallow that pill. And yeah, since maybe some, uh, let's say that people don't necessarily have to like Apple to make a release. That is okay. I can can yes. we can work with that, and we've been working with that ever since. So yeah, I mean, my my own perspective is that I um, both don't like Apple at all. Um, but that's a that's a political decision that I have. And that didn't stop me from recognizing the need for Inkscape to have a Mac OS release and from pushing the, the um, advertisement and an invitation for, to, for help. Um, because when you, when you see you know, hundreds of thousands of users uh, struggling or not being able to use it at all, it becomes very apparent that um, it's not good enough to hold politics ahead of that need. Um, you really need to, somebody like yourself to be able to have the freedom to be able to deliver. Um, and it's nice to know that the project, while, yeah, it has its free software uh, politics and it has its, um, you know, uh, views, should we say, yeah. it doesn't necessarily uh, preclude or, or cause social problems for people like yourself who are able to contribute. Yeah, uh, I, th I think yeah. I feel pretty much accepted. And yes, if there's the occasional... Uh, banter towards whatever yes. <laughs> that is <laughs> that is not a problem no. so uh, lo looking to the future um, what kinds of things uh, are you going to be do doing and um, I hear that you've been doing some other packaging work in the open source world yeah that's it's my future let's say it's it's kind of undecided what I've went with so far is uh, that I made the decision to at the moment to not pursue going into the Inkscape core code base but basically, since I've spent so much time on this packaging stuff, I thought to myself, uh, maybe try to get more out of it. And so I have adopted several, yeah, I call them pet projects, but I don't mean that in the mini manner, it's just meant that Inkscape is still the main focus. I've adopted various other softwares that are packaging for Mac OS, and among them is uh, like Zeril, is a software for astronomical photo processing. Yep. It's very recent. And uh, Zim is a desktop wiki. And some others are in the pipelines that I'm currently not not remembering. Like most recently, R Note has no has no Mac OS release. And let's see, for as long as this is still is fun, I will just continue doing it and just see where where this journey will end. Okay. Um, thank you so much for uh, coming and talking to me. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Yeah. And thank you for all of the contributions that you do. For You're welcome. Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you, everybody.